What is going on guys? It is Brian. Today we are going to be looking at the Rolling Spider by Parrot. You control the Parrot by using your smartphone, which is pretty cool. You come into the Free Flight 3 app, you connect right up to it. Uh, my name is Brian Afro for some reason, I'm not really sure why, I don't have an Afro. But you simply jump into the Free Flight section, it will connect for you, and you are able to control things very, very easily. One thing I really like about this, guys, is you can actually set it so you can see what you're looking at. You can use the camera on your iPhone while you record. So you can actually record with your phone as well while you um, are flying. So you can take video of your drone while you fly it. Lifting off is as easy as pressing the takeoff button. Very quickly after, the thing finds itself in a nice little hover. Now that changes a little bit on the winds and the drafts in the room or the environment outside, but you can easily spin it around and fly it around to your liking using the very easy controls found on your smartphone. The controls take a little bit of time to get used to, but if you have experience with RC before or quadcopters before, I don't think you'll have any issue. Even my limited experience with things like this, it was very easy to get adjusted to it and to learn how the thing flies and really get a feel for what I can do with it. Landing is as easy as press Landing is as easy as pressing the landing button. Taking the drone outside, I really got a chance to push it to its limits. After adjusting the limitations in the app, I was able to see how high it could go, and I was surprised exactly how high it went. It really went up there. Bringing the thing back down was easier than expected. The stability is very strong, and even in the higher winds that it was outside, and using minor adjustments on the pad, I was able to accurately hold it in place. Additionally, I was able to test the speed and the maneuverability of the drone. I was very surprised at how easy it was to keep it in control and was very happy to see that no matter what you really did, it was hard to really screw it up. But if you're a rookie quad pilot like me, you're probably wondering how many times you can crash the thing before you truly damage it. So without further ado, I give you the part where I crash a lot. The worst that I could do was knock the propellers off. I couldn't snap them and I couldn't break anything else on the drone. If I couldn't do anything worse than that, it's hard for me to believe that you guys couldn't. It's a very tough machine and you can get it back up and flying again in no time. That's it for this one guys. I would absolutely recommend this product. If you're interested, the link to purchase it is in the description below. If you liked the video, leave a like, a comment, and think about subscribing. And of course, I hope you guys have safe flights and smooth landings.